the scenes at the end were just incredible to see and just so much was going on. It really, really was such a special moment. Ale Moreno is with us. Ale, there is so much to talk about in this final, but what's your biggest takeaway from it? Well, let me just mention there the fact that this is the best World Cup final he has ever witnessed. I'll go as far as to say, and I have watched a lot of football in my life as a player and now as a broadcaster for over two or three decades. And I can tell you, without any shadow of any doubt whatsoever, this is the best game I have ever seen. The best, the best. And, and, and we think of all the storylines and rarely do finals deliver on those storylines. Well, this final deliver on everything, on every level, from every angle, from every perspective. It was Lionel Messi, it was Kylian Mbappe, it was Argentina, it was France. It was everything that you wanted to see in a game with all the drama included. And let me tell you, there were some people nervous everywhere. I have no connection with either one of these teams, right? I have nothing writing on this game. My son has nothing writing on this game. My wife who couldn't care less about this game, she's watching and she can, she can, she can get a hold of herself, right? This is the moment that we're living through that you know you're watching something special and something you're going to remember. This was something else. It really, really was something else. I mean, we can go through the story of the game in a moment, but let's focus then on the big stars in this one. Lionel Messi, Luis, what, what a fitting end for him to this World Cup. So many eyes on him. I think what was so lovely as well, seeing at the end, I thought there might be more tears from him, but it felt as though it was more just relief and pure elation in those scenes at the end of the game. Yeah, absolutely. I think he was taking it all in, to be honest, Kay. I think that it's been a long journey, an arduous journey, not just in the fact that he's been looking for this World Cup title, but let's remember about the suffering he had, of course, after losing Copa America finals, the World Cup final in 2014 as well, how he at one point said, I'm done with this national team. Uh, you know, uh, at many points, he wasn't even considered as, as the son of Argentina from even his own Rosario faithful and, and everything that he has gone through. And then to add to the fact, Kay, that he's 35 years old. We're not talking about a, a player, a star in his mid-20s or even at the end of his 20s trying to get that win. He knows this was it. He knows this is the last opportunity. And he knows that he had the pressures, not just the weight of the team, but of a nation depending on him. So I think that in those last seconds after the final whistle, after the penalties were won by Argentina, he's taking it in. And to your point, I think he's just reflecting on not just this World Cup, but his entire story. I mean, it's incredible what we have witnessed. And, you know, we can go on about, you know, what I think of him and what we think of him as a player, greatest of all time. He didn't need this title for me. He just basically became an emphatic symbol of what he represents. And it's, it's amazing to witness, amazing for Argentina to be World Cup champions for the first time since 1986 when their other king, Diego Maradona, became their hero. Let's go in some blocks, shall we then, Ale? First half, we see Lionel Messi scoring Angel Di Maria, who was in the starting 11, which was a surprise for so many as well. And then Deschamps having to make a double substitution in the 40th minute. Be honest, did you think Argentina had already won it at that point? No, I did not think Argentina had won it up until that point because we saw what happened and how quickly it unraveled against the Netherlands, a team that is more limited in the attack than France is. Let, let me just go back because you, you asked a lot of questions and, and unfolded a lot of things <laughs> in that first half. So let me just address a few things that were key. Angel Di Maria, I thought it was a risky decision, a brave decision by Lionel Scaloni, not only to play Angel Di Maria, but to play him on the left-hand side. I would have thought if you're going to play Di Maria, you're going to play him down the right-hand side to create a natural 2v1 situation because Mbappe is not coming back to defend. Instead, you send them over to the left-hand side and then you condition the attack by Dembele and you condition what Kunde is able to do down the right-hand side. And he became perhaps the most effective player that Argentina had in the attack. He has to come off because obviously he had no more legs left. But a guy who has struggled with fitness and yet he came in and made such a difference. And this is a player, let's not forget, that had to miss the 2014 final because he was injured. And it may have been a similar story here, but he was given an opportunity by Scaloni in a big moment, and he delivered 
finishes his chance on the counterattack. But beyond finishing his chance on the counterattack, I just thought he was yet another outlet in the attack for Argentina. It wasn't just Lionel Messi. You could find Di Maria and he was going to do something productive with the ball. In terms of the substitutions by the Shams, and, and this is the second point I'll address about the first half, it is another brave decision. It is another major and big decision by the Shams in saying, you know what? What we were trying to do is not working. And not only is it not working in terms of uh, the scheme or the tactics, but the, the attitude of the team isn't quite there. I need to change this right away, and I need to put a different personality. And it made a difference in the second half because the big bodies of Turam and, and of course, Colomuani were a handful for Argentina. I, they, they didn't seem to be able to handle it, just like they didn't seem to be able to handle the big bodies of the Netherlands. A couple of big decisions from both managers, and they both got it right. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.